Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how you give the players the ability to add lore through the anvil. And to do this, we are first going to add a check. Because if they want to add a line of lore, they should start their uh, rename text with this so brackets and then an l for lore in between but first we need to check if that starts so if get inventory if the rename text dot get rename text dot starts with and then the string prefix is going to be an l like that i make sure you close those brackets correctly because yeah like that and then else if it's not then what we want to do is we want to do this code and of course we can just use this as a base for our lore thing over here so just copy that and paste it over here what we do not want to do is change the name of course so we are going to get the name so string item name which is the original name is going to be either get inventory and then dot get item and it's going to be the first so zero dot get item meta dot get display name but if it does not have a display name or item meta, it will return an error. So first what we are going to do, if e.getInventory.getItem0 has item meta and of course and and e.getInventory.getItem0 dot get item meta dot has display name. So that we do not get any null pointer exceptions. And what we can do is we can just put it over here. And of course we want to do result meta dot set display name towards the item name item name. So and then you can of course remove this line over here and actually remove this one. Uh, you can just keep it over here because what we want to do is we want to do lore colored. So it's going to be the new lore line. So instead of name colored, it's going to be lore colored. And of course lore colored. You do not want to have this uh, ugly uh, starting inside of your lore. So over here, we are going to dot replace, not replace all, replace uh, that little part over here. Replace so that part with and a new char. To remove something from a string, you just replace it with nothing like that. An empty string. And of course, lore color, we should add it to the lore or we should create a new lore because... Uh, the item either get inventory dot get item zero either has lore or has no lore uh, yet. So what we are going to check for if either get inventory dot get item zero dot has law uh, dot get item meta dot has lore. And uh, first, of course, we need to check if it has item meta over here and has lore. Then what we are going to do is because this lore colored line we want to add it to the lore so we're going to create a new lore array list of type string and this is going to be our lore equals a new array list of type string and uh, type string yes like that and what we will want to do is we want to get so if it already has lore we want to do lore dot add all since we want to add all currently insisting to get item zero dot get item meta dot get lore and of course you should do instead of this each time you should just store it in an item stack i forgot sorry uh, do it afterwards i will put it in the paste bin correctly no i will not re-record this sorry okay so we are going to add all line uh, list to the lore and of course after that we are going to do lore dot add lore colored and what we are going to do is result meta dot set lore towards lore and that's actually how you give the players the ability to add lore lines or otherwise change their uh, item names with color and to remove it i'd say yeah that's the challenge for today's videos make a, a yeah a different type of thing make it so that if i put r over here it will remove the last line of lore or replace doesn't matter remove or replace doesn't really matter uh, let's do a re ram for remove and replace wrap for replace. So let me change that back to L. And that's actually it. 
that's how easy it is to give the players also the ability to uh, change the lore of their items. So let's go and check this out on the server. So inside Mike for now, start up the server and let's go and take a look at what we have created. So I'm gonna take a new diamond sword and I'm going to place it over here. Keep in mind that if the players did not change the display name yet, so I'm gonna just quickly change it over here, it will not uh, be correctly. Like over here, diamond sword, if I now type in an L over here for lore, it will also change the name since they do not have a, uh, yeah, they do not have a custom name yet. And over here, I'm just gonna remove this line. And what I'm going to put over here is L and then let's do a blue color uh, or is it green? It's blue. Let's do blue color and type test, test. And as you can see, I can do that. Yeah, as many times as I like over here for the second time, I'm gonna just type in the L and then over here and blue test two and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to our discord chat and people will be able to help you out over there as well thanks for watching see you next time